seems to be a like, kind of a sweetheart coming to the ring, but once Masuka gets in her mind, all business. But will all business be able to stand up to the absolute? I think I'm going to lay back and see what's Brooke Valentine got to say. I think the conversation has come to a halt. Referee Dan Perch. But what I was saying, though, was Charlie Cruel, even when she gets down to business, and what she got, what Cruel got. Oh, yeah, she got Pop-Tart. What flavor you got? Physically fit nutrition with 11 flavors. Physicallyfit.com to make your order. I think we have a peace offering with the Pop-Tart. Ain't nothing wrong with Pop-Tart. They're hot, they're sweet, they're delicious. Oh, uh, Milwaukee. Super kick by Charlie Cruel, and I think we might be underway. Cruel now off the ropes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if what I was attempting to get at prior before the exchange. And we've got more jawing going on in this ring. I'll just Brooke Valentine. What I'm trying to say is Brooke Valentine, I think she may be just too powerful even for when well, Charlie Cruel going right to that Mongolian thrust. Going for the, that's a smart move by Charlie Cruel to go for the kicks, knock down the tree trunks, knock down the redwoods of the ultra powerful Brooke Valentine. Brooke Valentine looks like she can definitely put some weight up at the squat rack. Exceptionally power, powerful individual, and Charlie Cruel is going to have to use all of her cunning, like putting all, using her leverage to put the weight down on the steel cable second rope. Keeping those kicks in, it's wisely keeping them on the legs. You make the back of that leg super sore and crampy from repeated kick after kick. Brooke Valentine's not going to have a lot of a lot of oomph behind that bee sting spear. She needs a running start to hit that bee sting spear. If she's got one leg, not going to be as powerful. Charlie Cruel might might be able to pull off the upset here and just laying down the raining down the blows. Charlie Cruel showing me something here. I was expecting Brooke Valentine to just kind of being bounced off of like a pinball. And for Brooke Valentine just to stop Charlie Cruel dead in her tracks, and that's not what happened here. Charlie Cruel wisely got to keep her larger opponent down and just driving in. Yeah, trying to uh, restrict the air, restrict that oxygen flow. Charlie Cruel really showing me something here tonight at WrestleFest. Driving down those boots, keeping. Brooke Valentine, the queen bee, on the mat. Charlie Cruel, do not let Brooke Valentine get to her feet. She will squash you. She's too powerful and too experienced to let up. Oh, yeah, Charlie Cruel, you just, you just brought Brooke Valentine to her feet, and now and here's what's happening. And the crowd solidly behind. Well, she caught her with a roundhouse, and Valentine's back down. Very impressive by Cruel. She's got to yeah, restrict that airflow. Very smart. Referee Dan Perch laying down the count. Drives the knees in. Once again, forcing the trachea against the, that steel second rope cable. Cruel. Yeah, going for the pin here. Wise to do. Make Valentine expend that energy. A two count only. Uh oh. Well, cruel. If yeah, if you don't know the law, how are you supposed to break it? And Brooke Valentine about to get shoved down by her face to the mat, but she's not having that. Well, face first she goes. Charlie Cruel by the throat. 
really trying to restrict the oxygen flow. And that's a great, just a good strategy, a pretty low down underhanded strategy. I'm thinking Masuka might have whispered that into her ear. Here, here's how you beat Brooke Valentine. Here, here's what you got to do. There's a sizable difference. Hey, look at this. Into that armbar, just stretching out that right pectoral muscle. Might be a potential bicep tear here, potential hyperextension of the elbow. Smart move by Charlie Cruel. And if Charlie Cruel, her left leg, if she can somehow kind of pull a hamstring curl to uh, further the choke, but yeah, Valentine just too strong. Gets the close one. Cruel center of the ring. Uh, she has this leg drop, does not get it. That might have been it right there had Brooke Valentine been able to hit that leg drop. Gets the perfect pun intended snap neck right there. That flipping, that, that flipping snap mare. Cruel allowing Valentine to get her breath. Valentine down in the corner. And Cruel might need to get some more advice from Masuka here. Drives the knee in. Wisely done. Beautifully done. Getting all of her momentum behind that knee. Here she comes with the second one. She got it too. Driving that knee in. Charlie Cruel, what a statement she would make if she could defeat Brooke Valentine in her debut for Zello Pro Wrestling. What a deep, deep women's roster we have here at Zello Pro. Every match matters, two count only. But Charlie Cruel could be shot right up the ranks with a defeat over a former challenger to the Zello Pro Women's Championship. We are looking forward to Laney Luck defending the championship later on this evening against Jordan Grace. But one of these two ladies could be, come on, Charlie Cruel, put something behind that. There we go. See, yeah, yeah, you, 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 can't, you can't go easy. Okay, there she had some umph. Now we're going back and forth. Now they're not playing around. Masuka tells Charlie Cruel when to get down to business, and I think she did after that first chop. Catches the cross body, beautifully done by Valentine. Here we go into Valentine just being too powerful and a nice tabletop suplex. Our Milwaukee faithful appreciating the strength of Brooke Valentine, but Charlie Cruel wisely was able to roll. Roll out of the center of the ring. There's a second tabletop suplex. Cruel looks like maybe she was going for those Pop-Tarts. Get that peace offering. Hive mind. This could be it right here. Brooke Valentine hits the hive mind. That cannonball in the corner. Two count over. So close on that rolling cannonball in the corner. If Brooke Valentine hits another one of those or if she can pull off a full head of steam and get that queen bee sting, that spear, I'm predicting victory for Brooke Valentine here. Oh, look at this tarantula type maneuver. And but Valentine, oh, she tried to get away because she got tripped up. Cruel was able to hold on to an ankle, throw off the balance of Valentine, raining down some blows on the back. Yeah, no, come on, Cruel. You got to stay on your larger, stronger opponent. Handful of hair, get her back down on the mat, Cruel. Cruel going up, maybe thinking Tornado DDT, she gets it, and she got it, to her credit. Go for the pin. High impact move by Charlie Cruel, she's gotta go for the pin here. Could be thinking upset here, she even great fights the leg, two count on. So close for Charlie Cruel. Cruel making the argument, but not directing the argument toward Dan Perch, the referee. Not making the argument toward, Mas toward Masuki either. Okay, Pop-Tart coming into play. She's gonna, just going to shove it in. Well, see, is that, I guess maybe if you choke her, but is that going to really hurt Valentine? Maybe it might be embarrassing. I can't imagine Valentine's like, yes, I'd like to eat right now, right in the middle of this high-impact wrestling match against this competitor. Oh, look, beautifully done on the takedown. Yeah, if she can extend that arm, she, might, she got it too. 
She's going right back. I think she has a head scissors. Was that a tap? No, she's, she's waving it off. Valentine waving it off. Cruel could not hold on to the right arm. It's the same arm that she had earlier. Valentine's in trouble. Deep trouble. Well, she was able to, to just slide her head on through. Look at the strength here. Looking for a side slam or a pendulum backbreaker. She got the side slam. She got it. Looking for the pin here. Big power move, two count over. And Cruel's still in this. She is still in this. Valentine getting some air. Now Valentine thinking popped up. Fighting fire with fire here. She's going for the throw here. She's going to try and embarrass her. That step up in Seguri. She got it right on that shoulder, though. Ouch. That might be the spearing shoulder. Oh, uh, there she just shoves it right in. It's not going to hurt you, but it'll embarrass you and make you think twice. Psychological moves. Beast thing. She got it. That's it. No way is that not the end. Keep her feet away from the ropes. She got it. 